welcome back to the vlog. This is a random conglomeration of things. And we got our chickens out. Okay, so I went to do this intro, and Matt and Nathan were both... He was talking, he was kissing me, or something, and I said, you know the phrase, like, do you have your ducks in a row, everybody, whatever? I said, does everybody got their chickens? <laughs> <laughs> and I don't know why no. I said that, but... <laughs> <coughs> anyway, I like to keep I'm my going. chickens in. Yeah, I'm coming with you. So, anyway, I hope you enjoy <laughs> this vlog. My phone's down there, so I can focus on the road. But uh, I just took a video of the road, so I'll insert that here. But the. Uh, I'm assuming the plows haven't been out. That's kind of the vibe I'm getting. But I'm driving to clinicals in Deer Lodge and uh, the roads are kind of not fun. Okay, so usually I go like <clears throat> 55, 60. Usually like 55 when the roads are bad. But I've been down to like 40 something right now because uh, there's not too many people on the road, so I'm not that worried about it. But um, like when I've had to pass people, I slow down a little bit because the obviously, well, right here it's not, but usually the driving lane is better than the passing lane. But I'm going a little slower than I normally do because, oh, there's a plow on the other side. Um, because I've, even with going slow, I've felt myself get a little squirrely. Mm, yeah, like right there. And I was going 47 at that point, for reference. So, if you're an out-of-stater, don't move here. Especially if you're from somewhere that they don't have snow. Because you will panic and be the person going 20 on the highway. Which pisses everyone off. And makes those are the people that cause car accidents. Obviously also don't be the person going like 90 on glare ice. But at least that person is either crashing epically on their own, or flying past everyone, therefore not impacting anyone if they do crash. Yeah, like, obviously the plows haven't been here yet. You can tell by the passing lane, because the driving lane is clearly just from cars driving on it. Okay, and he's still got two big cases, and that thing there isn't even emptied yet. Um... If it's something car based, I, I, I have the usually have the theory of you can't have too much, but good grief. Okay, Nathan got this for Halloween. It's a hot chocolate bomb, which says to put it in the mug, then slowly pour the hot milk over it. Let's just see what it does. Okay, that thing kind of sucks. I mean, obviously, it like I can't stir it. But... Oh, God. Let's just... Oh, God. Oh, it's got marshmallows in it. Interesting. I was wondering what was rattling around in it. It's definitely kind of interesting because it's like the milk was so hot that it was like foaming up. Like, as you can, you can see, I added it. Like about, I mean, including the part that goes up over the numbers, it was maybe a quarter of the way full, and the foam was clear up at the top. So that was kind of, I was a little bit surprised how, uh, like, you must have to have your, like, milk, like, way, way ridiculously overly hot to have it melt the way 
I would hope it would, but yeah. This is so cool. So I don't know if you can see them. There's one right there. Um, but these deer are in my in-laws yard. I walked out thinking I'd scare them off. I kind of did when I walked out, they ran to the field. But then they came back. I'm not even gone yet, and they came back. And, uh, it's just so pretty. I walk out of here. It's 5 o'clock in the morning. I walk out of here. There's like three deer in the yard. There's a bunny right by this lavender brush. That's just kind of cool. Riddle me this. Don't the plows, aren't they on call? And have to come out when it starts snowing? It's snowing! Wake up! Get your butts out here! The interstate looks the same as the frontage road, so come do your fucking jobs. Alright, so I might be doing like a super, super deep cut, but I know there's some game, we put some gaming stuff up once in a while. And, uh, so just, I just, it, Persona 5 hit, uh, Royal hit Game Pass, and when I played it on PS5, it was one of my favorite games ever. And then, I, it, even to the point where I p later played 5, which, like, I did it for the trophies, and I had to follow a Google spreadsheet. Like, that shows how much I like that game. Like, if a game takes more than, like, five hours to get all the trophies, or it's something I'm super into, I'm not playing it. So, like, the fact that I was willing to play through a game that I had to follow a spreadsheet, um, but yeah, the game, it's like, it's a super, super long, like, and obviously with already playing through, like, the base part of the game twice, and the Royal stuff once, I was skipping cutscenes and stuff, but I am, by this completion time, and if you're trying to be like, somebody might try to be like, oh, you, you weren't really playing Royal, the save right above it is the, uh, in February, which means clearly I was playing Royal. But 50 hours, and then like with as long as the credits are, I was probably right at about the 50 hour mark. That dumbfounds me. And it's kind of funny because I'm kind of actually like sad right now because now, I mean, I don't know. I guess unless it doesn't have auto popping on the PS5 uh, version ends up on sale because that is one they're not doing any upgrade path. You have to pay $60 again, which it's like, one of my favorite games of all time. And yeah, that, that's enough to like like almost ruin it. Cause it's like, dude, like everything else, it's like, yeah, some things don't aren't crossed by, but like some of those like shovelware for trophies things that are like a buck fifty won't be crossed by. But then like almost anything else, it's like ten more bucks to get the uh, the next gen version. So I'm surprised Persona didn't do that. But if that, even if there is no auto pop and that goes on sale, I will play that game again. That will be four times. I wonder if, if that has the ability to stream. I'll go see what my playthrough when I played through Royal the first time was. I'm pretty sure it's about 150 hours. So I mean, like I, I shaved 100 hours, basically, possibly. I'll I'll see if it's easy to go look. Okay, okay, I got tangented about the versions of the games. I think, but yeah, the reason I'm sad is because like now I'm like. Unless they do, like, a remaster or a remake, but with the way the gra the design of the graphics, like, you, it'd be hard to. And, it, I mean, it's already a quick-loading game. Like, there's really not much you could do. But it's, like, unless they do, like, some re-release in, like, 10 or 15 years, like, this is the last time I'll probably play it. And that's sad. It's kind of weird how emotional. And then, like, the, the part that is like what starts setting up the ending for the main game it is weird how hard that still hits because i mean okay I, i'm gonna go spoilers because i mean most people are gonna be like i have no idea like i mean except for the people if they're like the people that are here for gaming the part where a catchy comes in and shoots you in the head like even saying it it's like oh, like oh my god but i mean I, I would suggest playing it if you uh, don't know what I mean by that part. Because you're like, what? Like, if that sets up the ending, how'd you just get shot in the head? But it is awesome. Like, but... Yeah, and if you do know what I mean, you're probably in the same boat as me. You're like, oh my god.
This is another thing with the achievements. I thought I did it pretty quick, but it hit Game Pass on the 20th, so I'm amazed I did end up taking me so long. But I like barely got it started on the 29th and played it a little bit on the 30th. Um, and then with Halloween and stuff, I didn't play it for a couple of days. Um, then I played it for a little bit on the 2nd and the 4th. But then it's like the majority of those 50 hours were on... Like the seventh, eighth, ninth. It's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, it's kind of kind of funny because it's like if you count the 29th, I, five days is 120 hours. That means I've played this game like 60% of the time. 60, I mean like 40% of the time. Yeah, so it's 96 hours. If you think, okay, like you barely started on the 29th. Um, but yeah, I, uh, even on the days I played it, I basically played it 40% of my time. <laughs> That's kind of crazy. Um, but yeah, I mean, I'm looking at something in October. Yeah, that's why I barely started on the 29th. It was Saturday and hunting happened and then trick or treating stuff started that day. So yeah, like I barely touched it that day. So if you're like, okay, let's not even count that day. I played it like 50% of the time versus the 40 it would have originally been. 41, actually. And actually, it's 52. There's one small thing I forgot to mention, too. Is Persona's weird. I mean, I guess not weird. But it's like, it counts your time. Pretty much, period. It's not like some games where it's like, okay, it's paused. Your timer stops. Or like you... Like, your controller disconnects, so you're clearly not there. It stops. Like, when it... Like, anything that, like, brings a pop-up up. up. But, yeah, probably an hour of that was, like, me, like, having it on a menu while, like, I ate or something. At least an hour. Probably, like, two. Because I've shoveled the snow a few times. Plus, eaten. So, like, I mean, all of those days. Um, but... Yeah, I mean, I'd be intrigued to see what a speedrun thing's like. Because with as anal as this thing is about having your timer continue. Because, I mean, there was one time where it's like... I My game time, I know, was like five minutes. And I took an eating break and it added like 30. Um, but, that yeah. that And then there was also things where it was like... Just memorable moments. You're like, I don't really remember what happened here. Or I actually didn't hang out with this confidant enough... Um playing it the first time so i'm not totally sure what happened here and like i dilly dally like i probably could have like if i would have been like made this like a legit attempt at a speed run i probably could have done like 42 and for the last like 12 10 to 12 hours of it i was also playing uh walking dead season one the telltale series on pc at the same time because they released on pc and have separate achievement lists and as you know, like, I love achievements and trophies. So I, I was like, yeah, wouldn't be that hard to play that while I play this. So it's like, yeah, that's definitely a thing, like, between, like, ha when something was action-y enough on The Walking Dead to need to actually, like, pick up or grab the laptop and stuff like that. Like, yeah, I like that. I could have shaved some time there. Now I'm trying to figure out what I can... Because I don't think I'm going to be able to do God of War while I play Season 2 or any of the other seasons. So I'm trying to figure out what game I'll... I'll probably, have to, I'll probably end up doing, like, movies or something. Because, like, they released all of them on there. And those are easy achievements. And unlike the first season, some of the other ones I haven't played 35 times. Because I played, like, PS3, 4, 5, or PS3 and 4 version, Xbox 360... Um, and then the new Xbox version. So that was at least my fifth playthrough because of the easy achievements. Because, I mean, it's like once you've played it, you know the story. You can pretty much just leave the controller, sit there, and just, like, when it gets to an action -y point, do the action-y stuff. So some of the other ones, like, I think Michonne I've only played once, maybe twice. So, like, that one will be kind of interesting. But, yeah, that first one. Especially because, like, Carly was, like, one of my favorite characters. No matter what you do, you can't save her. Every time I've tried something different... And then, like, after, like, the third try, I'm, like, I'm looking it up. There's a way to save her. Can't save her. A lot of those Telltale games, there's not choice. There's illusion of choice. And I get, I guess since I brought it up on that Walking Dead game, that's another one at the end when 
the end of the the first season. Another thing. Oh, another thing with the yeah, the persona. Like, oh, don't do spoilers. It's like if you have a PlayStation and you've chose not to play it until now. And then I said spoilers a lot, but like the Telltale ones, eat like way old. I think the original it originally came out in like 2012. Um, but yeah, with like Lee being bit at the end when like you got to make Clem choose between killing you and um, killing you and leaving you there to turn. Um, yeah, I don't care if I played that a hundred times; that'd make me cry. And it's like it's kind of hits different now because obviously 2012 didn't have Nathan yet. Um, so now having a kid and thinking like if I if like something like that happened, and like it was like, hey Nathan, you either gonna put a bullet in my head or leave me to here to turn as a turn into a zombie. Make it hit a little harder. So like, like I haven't played the intro to The Last of Us where Sarah gets shot yet since I've had Nathan and once uh, the remaster of The Last of Us. That's kind of ridiculous. Or, I mean, this one's the remake because there was a remaster like four years ago. But, like, once that either drops in price or hits PlayStation Plus, because I ain't paying 70 bucks for a game that's barely, like, that's basically the same game I that I own twice, which one of them I own because of PlayStation Plus or the Instant Game Collection or something. Um, but yeah, that's like one of the versions is only like 11 years old. Like some of this remaster stuff, like I'm all for it if it's something old or something that's actual actually needs it. But that game didn't need it. But now they made the trophies easy. So I will play it at some point, but that one's going to hit a lot different now that I have a kid. It's kind of kind of interesting. Some of those moments in games where something bad happens to a kid. Like that already hit pretty hard. Like that was one of the hard like those are probably the two most, like, tears from a video game moments ever, probably, for sure. And, I mean, that was without having a kid. See, Maggie needs to train me better, because she always does these things where she's like, Oh, tell us whatever down in the comments. So, if I it wasn't clear enough, the Persona thing, when you get shot in the head, that wasn't, like... Because, I mean, I knew that. I, I I had a feeling that that... Like, I mean, I don't know. Because there's... Some of those big, long JRPGs, if you screw up. Like, I'm thinking, I, did I get some weird bad ending? But it was more just, like, like shock. And it's, like, a pit in my stomach. Like, what the heck just happened kind of thing? Um, and then, like, obviously, like, I explained the, the terrifying sadness of the, uh, the other two that I mentioned. But, yeah, t tell us in the, in the comments, like... There are any moments in games where, like, in a game, or heck, even a movie, it's like, then a homeward bound. That'll get me every time. Like, that, no matter how many times, no matter whether it's anger, fear, which fear, I think, would be hard to have it hit the same every time. Um, but anger, fear, sadness, any of it. Like, is there any, like, movie or TV thing that, if you watched it or played it a million times, it would get you every time? Because, yeah, like, mentioning the Persona thing again, like, I just get this tightness. It's like, because that, that, yeah. I think that's the the only thing in any game that's gotten me, like, with, like, whoa, like, what the heck? Like, I've had, there's been some, like, like, like that was, I mean, it turned out that, yeah, I mean, it, did, it wasn't like it lasted that long. Because you find out what, <laughs> really happen quite soon thereafter so um but yeah it's uh kind of uh, yeah it's it's yeah that's kind of the point is it's like i'm half at loss of words like if that would have actually been how it ended or that was a way to get a bad ending where like you screwed something up where you didn't save yourself using um the metaverse there like oh god <laughs> that would have been nuts an update you didn't get them all and well really any out of here but yeah that's pretty much all of them the reason there's kind of a human shaped mark in it is because he was using it as his bed but yeah also to tie into the like if you have something like one of your moments like that like tell us in the comments if you like the gaming stuff like they don't i feel like our channel does like because the one where I just rambled about sports, like, got really low views. 
but I mean, like I'm down. I mean, obviously, like we lean more towards cars than anything, but if a vlog's gonna be a real vlog. It's got to cover everything we do, and there's a lot, like a lot of nerd stuff. And then also, like, yeah, at some point, this will lead to some donuts out in the like find a parking lot that's open enough or something because there's there's donuts coming i mean i guess if megan keeps posting in order they will have already happened um but yeah we're kind of into indoor mode a little bit and like i've been perpetually mildly sick because when you're already a little sick then you go out hunting and you uh breathe tons of cold air it's and stays worse so i'm like i'm gonna i'm gonna knock it off the hunting i was gonna use um either my election or and or veterans day so that i had off to go do it but didn't but yeah it's just kind of like and then plus like negative one is the low you know today or tomorrow so yeah like this time of year there'll be a lot more of the nerd stuff so if you don't like if and i mean like if if that was just a fluke the low views on the sports thing like make sure you let us know because i mean this is this is when like stuff's heating up like everything's starting its new season and then football's in like mid-season mid to late season mode so yeah i mean nascar just got over nascar is super lame now i'm not even really like i'm a meh at most fan but Look, Google, if you have not seen it, and I mean, that's the thing, even people that have never cared about sports at all or NASCAR will have seen it. Go, probably, go look up the Ross Chastain move at Martinsville. The, I mean, like, the commentators literally immediately called it a video game movie. It was one of the most insane things, and it made him, like, I'm a Harvick fan. It sounds like he's retiring after next season. But it's like Chastain is, like, equal with him for my favorite driver, and once Harvick's gone, that guy is far and beyond my favorite driver. Like, that was just crazy. Like, like they said, it didn't even look real. It was nuts. Like, I have not had a pop like that from watching pretty much any sport. Like, yeah, some cool endings in games. Football games especially have gotten like that. Oh, yeah. But that was just like, whoa, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen. And, I mean, in NASCAR, that was the coolest thing I've ever seen by far. Probably racing, period. <laughs> And I mean, probably in like the top five of sports period, like some of those catches, like still going back to it, especially since the Giants ended up losing in the long run, but that Odell Beckham catch, like that was nuts. But yeah, that moment, whoa, Rush Chastain, Martinsville. All right. So we finally started racing. That's half because that's the loser pile. Like this is freaking insane. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching this video. If you liked it, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share with your friends, and I'll see you in the next one.